schools, malls, places of business, hospitals, large venues. Millions pass through these facilities each day. Disasters can strike with little or no warning. And facilities are bound to protect all those within their confines. From the strike of a tornado to the rampage of a gunman, knowing what to do when faced with an emergency can mean the difference between calm and chaos, life and death. Natural disasters such as hurricanes and floods erupt each year with the potential to cause hundreds of deaths. Usually there is advance warning, even days before the event strikes. In other cases, with tornadoes and earthquakes, there may be no warning. Fires can break out with the life-threatening hazards of flame and smoke. Hazardous materials leaks and spills can release toxic substances. Mass shootings happen with increasing frequency, and terrorist attacks can occur without warning. No matter what kind of incident, no matter what the hazards involved, an organization's emergency managers must be prepared to take steps to protect those within the facility, whether they are students, employees, patients, customers, or visitors. Failure to do so subjects owners and managers to penalties for negligence. This program is called Facility Emergency Management and is designed to provide assistance in the creation of facility action plans and in the institution of emergency procedures designed to minimize injuries and loss of life and to assist responding emergency services personnel. This program will discuss emergency planning, the development of an emergency management structure and its various functions. It will study the roles of the emergency management team, the emergency operations center, and actions to take to maintain control of the incident within the facility. Procedures for interfacing with the emergency responders will also be covered. 